Good day friends, welcome back to my video blog. In today's video blog, we will be discussing the 10th program of the USP CD lab as per video curriculum. And the 10th program is write a C, C++ program to set up a real time clock interval time using an alarm API. Now an alarm API is this, whatever you can see here, this is an alarm 5 is an alarm API. Now using this we are supposed to set up a real time clock interval alarm. Now to understand this program we need to go to a certain uh, 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 concept called as signals. Signals are nothing but interrupts which are software interrupts. There are 64 signals an Unix operating system supports and to see what are the various signals that an Unix operating system supports there is a command called a skill. Kill is not a command that is used to kill a process, it is a misnomer, it is just a command. Okay, And uh, there is a switch called as minus L which lists all the signals that Unix operating system commands. There are 64 signals and among these signals there is one signal, the 14th signal which is SIG alarm, ALRM. There are other signals, there is something called a SIG int, there is SIG up, SIG quit, SIG ill. SIG uh, alarm of course, SIG pipe, SIG child, so on and so forth. Each and every signal has got its own meaning, its own uh, definition and a purpose. Now we will be dealing with one signal called a SIG alarm and what is, this, what is it supposed to do? We will try to look, look into a program and see how to create a signal, how to generate a signal and how to handle a signal. So these are the th things which we are going to uh, look into this program. This program can be written in two ways. One is using a signal system call and one more is using a struct sig action. Okay. So now struct sig action I will be explaining you first and later uh, a simpler way to do the same program I will be explaining it to you in the second part. I will clear the screen man struct sig action. SIG action is a structure in a C program to examine and change the action that has to be performed when a signal or a software interrupt is raised. And what is the syntax of this? The first one is a signal number which is 14 in our case or simply SIG alarm and the structure SIG action itself and the structure the old sig action okay so will this is the syntax of uh, sig action i uh, will not explain anything about the arguments we will directly look into the program you it is better you understand it directly so now sig action takes the first parameter which is the signal number sig alrm the second is the address of a variable a structure variable called as action which we have defined here and that action we are clearing that particular action as sig empty and we are attaching a handler called as wake up to this action and we are calling the function sig action meaning if sig alarm signal is raised I am telling the op uh, compiler or the operating system to execute a function called as wake up which I have defined here. So this is how a signal works. When you ray, when you want to handle a signal, you are supposed to register the handle with the operating system. When you register the handle with the operating system and you say for this particular signal, this is the set of tasks that you are supposed to do, then it will perform the task when that particular signal is raised. Okay, One way of doing things. and. How do we raise the signal? Alarm is the system call that is used to raise the signal and alarm raises the signal after the number of seconds that is mentioned inside as a parameter. So in this case it is 5. So after 5 seconds it will raise a signal called a sig alarm. When a sig alarm is raised what is the action that we need to perform? We need to execute this function that is what we are mentioned here. I am hoping you are understanding this. 
we'll try to execute and what we are doing is in a while loop we are uh, printing the same things again and again we are raising an alarm signal for every 5 seconds so for every 5 seconds we need to print hello dash and this will uh, wait for alarm uh, signal for the next 5 seconds we'll execute this program gcc signal alarm dot slash a dot out you can see 1 2 3 4 5 of course 5 seconds every 5 seconds it will keep on printing hello dashes waiting for alarm this is the output of uh, sig alarm now i'll stop this program i'll make a small modification to the uh, program here i'll comment out the portion i'll comment out this portion and uh, I will uncomment this portion. So now the entire program or I will delete this entire thing here. The entire program has been simplified to such small program. It is okay to use this program also in your lab. What we are trying to do using signal system call is we are registering the signal and we are giving the address of the handler to the signal as a second parameter the first parameter is the signal itself and what should we do when this signal arrives is this function okay and we will try to execute this program once again gcc signalaram dot slash a dot out and the same output we will be able to see 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 did you uh, so for every 5 seconds we are able to uh, see that a sig alarm is raised and when a sig alarm is raised wake up function which is registered is executed i am hoping you understood this program for any queries you can contact me at aditya.b@jyoti.org thank you